Welcome to the Bronx Zoo, everyone. Today, we're gonna be taking you on a tour of the famous Tiger Mountain. This roughly 1.5 acre facility opened back in 2003 and is home to some of the world's most famous creatures. You can find Tiger Mountain in the southeast corridor of the Bronx Zoo, sort of near World of Birds and the Bronx Rivergate parking lot. This area attempts to educate the public on the growing conservation efforts and the importance of tigers in the natural world. However, before even entering the trail, you're introduced to our first animal, the Pierre David's deer. Or Pierre David's deer, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Now, this animal separates itself from other deer species by being one of the only semi-aquatic deer in the entire world. Originating in China, these animals are actually now extinct in the wild. The Bronx Zoo first started to breed this species in North America in 1946, and since that point, over 160 deer were born at the park. Because of the efforts of the WCS, the Wildlife Conservation Society, you can now find Pierre David's deer in over 40 animal facilities just across the United States alone. They have a beautiful exhibit across a lovely hillside, and you can even watch them demonstrate their natural behaviors as they run across the entire thing and even go for a bit of a swim sometimes. After you're done looking at these funny little deer, you cross the road over to Tiger Mountain itself. Which, the funny thing is, it's not even that hilly. This area is heavily themed to a Siberian poaching camp and tells the story of tiger conservation as you walk through the entire area. If you follow the trail up to the left, you'll enter one of the two main tiger habitats. This exhibit actually rotates in between four different tigers, two Siberian tigers and two Malayan tigers. The Siberian tiger, also known as the Yamor tiger, is native to northeast Russia and pockets of eastern China. Historically, the Siberian tiger could have been found all the way down to South Korea. Siberian tigers are known for being the biggest subspecies of tiger, with males reaching a weight of 450 pounds and ending up being 10 feet long. The Siberian forest is known for getting very cold in the winter, and you might notice the Siberian tigers having a little bit more of a puffy coat than their Malayan counterparts. This actually makes this habitat so worthwhile to check out in the wintertime, which is kind of when this video was recorded, so you could see them demonstrating their natural behaviors as they interact with the cold environment. The zoo also houses the Malayan tigers in this habitat, as said before, and they're only one of 24 facilities to actually house Malayan tigers. In all of the Northeast, the Bronx Zoo is the only place to hold this subspecies. Unfortunately for us, it was a little bit too cold when we went to go visit, so we couldn't actually see the Malayan tigers. However, if you check out the Wild Asia monorail, you might actually get a little lucky and check out some of the other tigers from above. The monorail is only operational from May to October, so check it out while you can. This exhibit is surprisingly tame for the level of theming for the WCS. While the surrounding trail is littered with dynamic signage and theming, the exhibits themselves are very naturalistic, and let the New York forest backdrop simulate that you'd find in a Siberian wilderness. Following the trail a little bit further, you'll enter the second habitat. The Tiger Ridge Pavilion is similarly designed, however, you'll notice that it features a large pool with underwater viewing, allowing for excellent views of the tigers swimming. This pool is also home to the other animals that call Tiger Mountain home with freshwater fish species. Here you might notice the Eurasian carp and the mirror carp, both very synonymous with the natural and cultural environment of Siberia. Continuing down the trail from here, you'll find a variety of different scenes depicting the plight of the Siberian tiger. These interactive exhibits allow you to see inside of poaching camps and allow you to get a stronger idea of the growing need for conservation to protect these creatures. As you exit the trail, you're presented with a small area asking for donations and information on how you can help preserve these animals in the wild. Tiger Mountain, with only five species in the entire section, shows that you can do a whole lot with not that much. It's certainly a world class for exhibit design, and I really recommend that you guys check it out when you can.